Now that you've played Iowa State a few times, what would you say is your favorite memory fr from a game in this rivalry? Um, well, last year was my first time playing against Iowa State. And uh, from that game, it was just the opening kickoff return we had. That was awesome. Uh, and just seeing us, like, just dominate. I feel like we dominated that game. We had we had the lead the whole time. And it was just good seeing everybody play well. I thought we played a, a heck of a game that game. Now that uh, you and all the receivers have had a little bit of time to get acclimated to Will Howard, how do you think that's that's come along? Are you guys starting to gel a little bit more than you were a few weeks ago? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I feel like we've increased our – in uh, receptions in our in our yardage in the past game, um, we still got work to do, of course. Um, but chemistry is definitely building. I feel like maybe this is a simple question, but what what can the team do just overall to get more catches for the receivers right now? Um, I mean, it just depends on the scheme we uh, our offense is working on. Basically, um, if we feel like we can run against them, we'll run against them. We feel like we can pass against them. We pass against them. It's just a scheme base, you know, game by game. It's a game plan, basically. Okay. So you guys are confident in both. Just depends on the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Philip. Good luck this week. Thank you. Jackson. Hey, Philip. Just you mentioned how how much or you enjoyed the uh, kick return against Iowa State last year and how how cool that was to experience. I just wanted to know your thoughts on. With your special team's ability, your ability to maybe make a big play like that this weekend, and if that's something that uh, motivates you now that you've had a few big returns. Um, yeah, I mean, we special teams you, so we plan on making big plays on special teams every week. Um, we go into every week trying to return things, trying to block kicks, trying to create big plays, flip the field. So. Um, like I said, we're going to go into every week trying to make a big play on special teams, and that's what we plan on doing this week. And then just just as a follow-up on that, since the Kansas game, do you feel like teams maybe have been approaching you differently in the punt return game, and has it been maybe a little bit of a different challenge? Uh, I mean, yeah, I would say so. Uh, team scheme, too. You know, they scheme as well. So, uh, But there will be opportunities, I feel like, this game. To, uh, to take advantage of. So I feel like uh, even though they might be scheming differently, we can still have the ability to scheme ourselves and create big plays on special teams. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. John. Yeah, Philip. I know you guys have a lot of guys out right now because of COVID and contact tracing and all that. Just what, what's it been like the last week or so of practice, you know, with, with such a limited uh, availability for guys? Yeah, I barely heard you. But, um, yeah, I mean, basically it's just we all need to stay healthy. COVID is still a thing, you know, and it's uh, going up again in numbers So with cases. So at this point, you know, we got we got to have the mindset of if one guy goes down, the next guy has to be ready to come up and uh, take advantage of their opportunity. You know, next guy up, that's what we've been talking about. Uh, this week, this last week, when uh, we had a guy go down. So definitely, uh, definitely uh, got to be aware of what's going on in the world with COVID. And hopefully we just, you know, get it together and execute and play well on uh, Saturday. Appreciate it, Phil. Thanks. Last one here, Kellis. Do you guys as players ever go into weeks fearful that the games might be postponed at any moment? I know it hasn't happened to you yet, but is that always kind of a fear in the back of your mind? Uh, I mean, it's not a fear because uh, our coaching staff always talks to us that we're, we're I think we're prepared for every situation that uh, uh, that comes about to us. So I don't think we're too worried about that. We We go into every week, like I said, trying to, uh, execute the game plan and, and get ready for the opponent. We got, you know, three weeks left. You know, we went out in the championship, so we got a mindset of winning, basically, and taking uh, each play that's given to us at a time. So we're just excited for this week. 
I, I'm also kind of curious, is there anything that you find yourself doing uh, off the field to like pass the time differently this year than last, just given all the restrictions? Like what, what do you guys do for fun when you're not on the football field right now? Uh, I mean, I mean, I still, I still got school, so I have school, a lot of school going on. Uh, I'll be on the game basically. Uh, most, most of my time watching movies and stuff, just in, in the house type deal. Cause you know, COVID is still happening. So making fun around the house, a lot of FaceTime calls for me. So that's what I'll be doing.